Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. You can follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. Should Jesse Eisenberg play Lex Luthor in the next Superman movie? Now, with a Superman movie coming up in the next two years, I'm going to be all over this on this channel with bite-sized videos about certain issues. I mean, I want to see a Fortress of Solitude, a proper Fortress of Solitude. Should Amy Adams still play Lois Lane? Yes. She was about 37, 38. She was Henry's age when she did Man of Steel. Um, she, she's probably about 47, 48. She's a couple of years younger than me. I'm 50. So of course she can play Lois Lane. As I said the other day, the human beings around Superman will age and Superman ages slower. So it's totally fine for her to play Lois, but she's not 68. She's 48. So to say she's too old is ridiculous. But what are they going to do about Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor? You've got to have a Lex Luthor in a Superman movie, whether he plays a big role or a small role. You've always got to have Lex Luthor involved in the Superman universe. And it's going to be very interesting what they do here. I mean, look, there's a couple of good picks if they want to recast Jesse. You've got Vincent, De De Vincent DeFrancio who plays Kingpin in Daredevil. You've got Michael Rosenbaum, who is the best live-action Lex Luthor from Smallville. They've got some options here, what they're going to do. I mean, it would make a big statement to recast Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse has been asked, and he's told the media he doesn't think he will play Lex again, but will be happy to play Lex again. So what's Henry Cavill and his team, his creative team, you know, around this Superman movie, this next Superman movie, thinking of. Will they use Jesse Eisenberg? Will they recast? I think they're probably going to recast and that's my gut feeling and if Jesse Eisenberg is saying he doesn't think it will happen for him again, which is a shame. What I thought about Jesse's casting at first was I was disappointed. I didn't think this was the right guy to play Lex Luthor. When I saw his performance in BBS, I really liked it because Jesse is a really good actor. One of the best actors of this generation, certainly in terms of independent film, indie movies. He's a great actor in general. So you couldn't have got someone more talented. But looking at him aesthetically, he looks nothing like Lex Luthor. Yeah, I mean, you can shave his hair off, but it's still an issue. So I think they will recast him. As I say, my two picks are Vincent DeFrancio, Kingpin from Daredevil, and Michael Rosenbaum from Smallville. They could go with someone totally different. Will they use a Lex Luthor in this film? They have to. Whatever they do, Lex has to be part of this world. I mean, I think it was ridiculous that Lex didn't play a bit part in Man of Steel. We did have some Easter eggs for him with some Lex Corp trucks and things like that, which was great. But I don't really think it's a good idea not to have a Lex Luthor at all in a Superman movie. Whether he's just a Lex Corp and you just see him cameo, or whether he plays a bit a bigger role, or if he's the main villain. As I say, I know that a lot of Superman fans don't like him being the main villain, but whatever. We want a Lex Luthor. I want a Lex Luthor in the next Superman movie, which is in development right now. I want a proper Fortress of Solitude. I want a Lex Luthor as well. These things are non-negotiable with me as a Superman fan. And you know, Henry and his creative team understand that Lex Luthor is vital to a Superman movie, however you use him. So when you decide to make a Superman movie in the so-called DCEU, or pardon me, DC Universe now, but because he's cameo Superman in Black Adam, which is a part of that universe, surely, you know, it's the same characters and actors as before, unless it is a Flashpoint Superman. Again, we don't know that. So these are the questions that are going to have to be answered. So interesting when he did the Happy and Confused Live podcast, they weren't really asking him the right questions. Maybe Josh Horowitz wasn't allowed to ask him too much about the movie, because Henry did get a bit protective of his secrets when he was asked, "Who's been? has anyone been tapped to write, direct it? And he said, I can't tell you this stuff. It's clear to me he knows who's writing and directing this movie. It's pretty obvious, but The Fortress of Solitude, Lex Luthor, who's going to play Lois Lane, I think if it's part of the DCEU, it has to be her if it's a new timeline. 
It could be someone else. These will be controversial decisions. But unfortunately, these are decisions that will have to be tackled. This has been Movies TV Mad. I am Mick, your host with the most. Just ask your girlfriends and your wives. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss this beautiful perfection. And I'll see you again in the next video. Until we see each other again. Goodbye. Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen.